What's up everybody? Welcome back to another day in Car Mechanic Simulator with me, the Virtual Mechanic, and today's beautiful project, the new Ford Mustang 2017, looking absolutely stunning, from the up-and-coming Ford Remastered DLC. Let's get in and take a look. This is the standard edition. I do believe there is only one as it is at the moment. We got it from the auction house. It's in very bad condition. Pretty bad. We've seen worse, but um, yeah, not the greatest for a 2017 car. Did we get a good deal? We didn't. I bought it for 59566 and could sell it for 53900 losing out on 5666 before we even begin. But the engine in this one is the beautiful V8 Ford Coyote engine with 437 factory horsepower. We're going to be increasing that as much as we can with performance parts, trying to make this Coyote an absolute beast on the drag strip. The other new engine you can swap into the Mustang is the Ford Boss rear wheel drive. We did the Boss 4x4 in the last video with the F350. Exactly the same, it's just a rear wheel drive equivalent. Can be swapped in to the 2017 Mustang. We're not doing that. We're obviously sticking with that beautiful Coyote engine. So let's get this beast started. Let's get over to the car wash. Let's get it cleaned up. Here we are then in the car wash with the Mustang. Let's get it clean and see what color it is underneath all this dust and grime. Looks a very silvery color at the moment. Does look quite good in the silver, but not what I think we're going to go for. A lovely green panel on there, just for good measure. Let's get the interior done, though. Let's get this one back on the lifter, tear that engine out, and start stripping everything else down, ready to go back together with a beautiful 2017 Ford Mustang. Just want to say a massive congratulations to Rockus Barocus with the 16 votes. This is the car that Evanor has selected to be the winner. This is the person who's going to receive the three free copy of the Ford Remastered DLC on Friday. Congratulations to you. Absolutely beautiful car. Really loving that one. New competition is up and running. We are working on Payne's Mitsubishi Eclipse slash Eagle Talon. So if you haven't got that one yet, head over to the workshop, grab that one yourself, then come and join us on the official Red Dot Games Discord server. Link in the description below. Come and take part in the competition. No prizes for this one, just bragging rights. First things first, we got to check if that Coyote has got an oil pan in there. There is an oil pan, so we need to drain all of that out. Let's go and grab the oil drain and see how well this Mustang was looked after. Not very well at all. That is filthy. Absolutely horrendous. But let's get that put away. See what we've got going on under here. We know it's rear wheel drive. It's a Mustang. It shouldn't be any different. Let's start by getting this drive shaft out. You come first rusty bolt. Is the first bolt we tackle today. There we go. Out you come. And the second rusty bolt also on the opposite side. There we go. Out you come as well. Then we'll grab the little starter. I do like this already because everything looks pretty complete. It means I don't have to go shopping and make sure I have got everything. So let's get the gearbox out of here. Out you come with the last rusty bolt for this part here. And we'll grab the front exhaust sections just to be on the safe side. And let's get you down. And let's see if we can rip that coyote out of there. Let's go and grab the engine crane. Grab you. Let's get you over there. Let's get that hood open and see if we can pull that one out. We can indeed. That's exactly how we like it. Nice and easy. What have we got going on in the engine bay? First, I'm going to check if there's anything missing. It doesn't look like it. Very pleased with that. So we've got a wishy-washy reservoir. we got a coolant reservoir. we got a radiator with a fan housing kit, air filter, and all its components. Power steering reservoir. A lovely little battery just down there. Up here, we got the brake servo, ABS pumper module with the ECU. And a cheeky little fuse box just up there with a fuel tank and fuel pump down the back. It is all there, which is always a good sign. But we need to drain liquids out of the brake servo, wishy-washy, coolant, and power steering reservoir. To do that, you right-click, additional tools, drain tools, click and hold on the container, and it will all drain out. We'll get the rest of this all stripped down, all the suspension out. When we come back, we'll start working on the Mustang's beautiful bodywork, getting this one looking brand new again. That's everything repaired, replaced, or upgraded, ready to go back on our beautiful Mustang. But before we move on, we need to sort out all of this bodywork. It's in very bad condition, so let's start getting it off. Hood, of front bumper, fender, and headlights out there you come. Then we got a door. Fender was missing on this side. No windshield, no bay window. Let's just keep going around. Rear bumper, get out that rear window there. Out with that door. No bay window up there, that's fine. Trunk out you come. And tail lights. Now, is that everything? Again, felt very easy. Let's get the interior out and go back in and double check in a moment. Full set of new interior by the looks of that. Benches and all. And a lovely new steering wheel on there. Now, is that everything? 1% on that screen. Nothing showing up on there. We have got everything. And I've come out of that again. 17% on the frame. And I bought it for just under 60,000. What do we reckon today? 
I'm going to say 1,500. 1,250. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's get in and take a look at the body shop for the Mustang. There are no alternative parts. This is what you get. Everything is a like-for-like -like replacement. Nice and simple. It does all look good in there, though. I cannot wait to get this beautiful Mustang all back together and ready to go. So let's crack on with that. I'm going to go replace what I can replace. Nope, I'm going to go repair what I can repair, replace what I have to replace, and we'll get it all back together before we head over to the paint shop, see what we're going to pick for our beautiful Mustang today. Let's get our beautiful little Mustang all back together looking fantastic so we can get it into the paint shop. Let's just get going on with that hood, on with the fender and the front bumper. We did have to buy new headlights, didn't let us want to replace them, that's fine. And we obviously had to buy this new fender as well, along with all new windows. So let's crack on and start getting all of this in. In you go, in you go. Lovely new mirrors to go on there as well, because we didn't have them. On with the bumper, on with the tail lights, tail lights. If I could click on it, there we go. And that beautiful little trunk. Rear window in, you go. Then we got the right body bay window, right door, right front window. And the last piece for the bodywork on with that mirror. Looking pretty good on there. We've got some license plates to go on. We've gone for VM plates. Just with Mustang written on them today. Looking pretty good. There you go. And there you go. And then the last piece we're going to do, we'll quickly go into the shop and have a look. You've got a lovely new Mustang interior. Obviously, some Mac 1 stuff there as well does show up. But you've got lovely new Mustang bench seats, a lovely new Mustang front seats, and a beautiful, shiny new steering wheel. So let's get all of that in. In we go. Down at the back, new bench seats. Then we got them lovely front seats up there. And this beautiful new steering wheel looking fantastic on there. Loving that. Is that everything on our little Mustang, though? 100%, 100%, 100%. Fantastic. Let's get this beast into the paint shop. See what we're going to do. Here we are then in the paint shop with the beautiful Ford Mustang. First off, let's check out the new liveries. What have we got in here? Some blue stripes. Is this going to be the same as the truck? White stripes. Black stripes, nothing else. It is the same as the truck, but I do still like them. I'm definitely feeling some black stripes on this one today. What are we going to go with for the body color, though? Let's see what we've got from factory. Lovely red. Probably not what we're aiming for. Then a metallic red. Oh, then a plum purple. Oh, that looks pretty good. No, no. Uh, then this sort of pearl yellow. That's not bad. Uh, then a solid yellow, a solid green. I like that. Maybe we want a bit brighter in that green. Then a metallic -y green. Ah, then a metallic blue. A darker metallic blue. A lovely white. Pearl white. That metallic silver. That looks good as well, actually. And then a solid black. I reckon I'm going to go and try and create my own. Where do I want to go to here? Uh, I'm going to keep it in pearl, actually. Let's go into green a little bit. Let's put some color in there, shall we? Maybe a bit too much. Bit, bit more yellow, bit less yellow there. Somewhere around there. Let's bring the brightness down a little bit. Say 80. Maybe a little bit more. What do we reckon? 70. Too dark in the pearl. I think that looks absolutely fantastic. Maybe that's what we're going to go for. I'm going to get that one on for the minute. We might swap it a little bit later. I'm quite liking that in the pearl. Lovely pearl green with black stripes on there. That's looking pretty good. The engine bay is very green. That is what I like. Means we can use a bit of black, maybe a bit of white. Should we change these stripes to white? No, nope, we're going to keep them black. We might use a bit of white in the engine bay, though, just for good measure. But we're going to keep this one predominantly black and green. See what we can do with a bit of this interior. Maybe take that grey out, put a bit of green in there, maybe. Maybe something on the steering wheel. We shall see in a little while. But this is looking good. I like that in green. I think that looks fantastic. I'm going to get everything else painted. Then we'll start reassembly back on the lifter in just a few moments. That's everything painted on our beautiful little Mustang, ready to go back in. We've changed a couple of little bits. We've got some green on them interior seats, looking fantastic. And a bit of green on the steering wheel. I've taken the window out just so I can sit in, because this steering wheel is fantastic. You've got green stitching around the edge, along with all the buttons in green as well. I think this interior looks fantastic. But let's get this window back in. Let's get the car up in the air, normal mode, because we need to start sorting out all of this suspension so let's get in. we got black shocks, green springs, and white caps on there. I think the white caps really finish it off, and you'll see why when we get into the engine bay a little bit later on. But let's get started getting all of this in. The first part, the front suspension cross member in a lovely white with the steering rack in a black and the sway bar in a little green on there. With the knuckle in a white, the inner and outer tie rod both in a little black. Just sort of separating the colors all up there, looking pretty good. Lower suspension arm also in a black there. Not so much green going on on this one yet. 
There is a little bit more to come. Don't worry. Shocks in. They look fantastic. Really liking them. And the sway bar end link just in a little black on there. Rubber bushings. One here. Oh, bolted up. There we go. And one just down here as well. In you go. Then we got the knuckle cover in a black with the wheel hub also in a black. Still not that much green. What's going on? Bearing in you go. Brake disc on you go. Brake pad. And then we've got the lovely non-force chrome green brake caliper just in the normal pearl color there. A little bit extra brightness added to the brake calipers because they stay a little bit dark just to be on the safe side. And the wheel hub also in a little green just there. Finishing that one off mostly in black and white with a splash of that body colored green. Looking pretty good. Can we get down the back? We can. We just have to take a little detour. Rear suspension cross member in the white with the rear knuckle also in the white. And the rear sway bar in a green. Same as the front there with the sway bar end link just in a cheeky little black. Then we got all of the suspension arms. All of these are in black. Let's just get them all in. In you go. In you go there. Then we've got the raised one above it. Up you go in there with all your bushings. And then we swing around to the other side. Get this little bushing in just down here. And then the last suspension arm just on there in the black. Looking fantastic. Rubber bushing one here. In you go. One here. Oh, it just in that little gap just there. In you go. And one just down at the end there as well. Then we've got the spring cap. We've done that one in a white. Sort of balancing it off with the black stand there. Spring in the green. And the cap in the white. The same as the front. With the shock in a green. Just add a splash more of that down the back. Looking pretty good. The knuckle cover in a black with the wheel hub also in a black. Same as the front. On we go. Then we got the bearing in you go with the drive axle, which is also in black in there. Looking pretty good. Brake disc, brake pad, and then that lovely green brake caliper. When we get there, there we go. On you go and in you go there. Looking fantastic. Very, very pleased with that in the black, white, and a little bit of green, just for good measure. Fuel tank, in you go in the black with the fuel pump, just in that lovely green. And that's it for the minute. We're going to crack on and get the other side done. Come back and sort out that beautiful engine bay before we go and build the beautiful Coyote engine. And I cannot wait to get this one all finished off. That's all the suspension finished. Looking good in black and white with a little splash of that green in there just for good measure. Looking fantastic. What do you guys think? Do let me know in the comments below. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We've got more Ford DLC coming on Friday with another video on Monday. And then back to normal where we'll be checking out some new mods that have been released in the meantime. If there has been any, I know there's been at least one. But let's crack on. We need to sort this beautiful engine bay out. Let's start in the top corner. We've already got the fuse box in in the white there. We've got the stage three ECU in there. The ABS pump in a black with the brake servo in there as well. With the ABS module on top also in a black. Just completing that one. In you go there. Swing around to the other side. We've got just down here the little battery. Power steering reservoir and the coolant reservoir up there. We've got the wishy-washy reservoir just on that side with the radiator in that metallic finish on the green. With the fan housing kit in a black and two chrome green fans in there. Looking very, very nice. Pleased with that. Air filter base in the white. In with the air filter on with the white lid as well. And then we've just got, just a little finish it off. Just a couple of little black clips going around the outside. On you go. On you go. And on you go there. And that should be everything. I believe that's everything. Apart from, obviously, that engine. Now we can see why we did the spring caps in the white on there. Poking up through into the engine bay. Just puts a little bit of white on this side because it's very dominant on this side. So just an extra splash of that. Looking pretty good. But now, now we need to go and build that Coyote engine. Absolutely insane. Let's get started. We got the block in black. The oil pan also in black. And it is looking very good. Pleased with this. Oil filter down here in an attempt at that body match green. It still looks pretty good. And then the fuel filter up here just in a cheeky little white. On with these engine heads then. They are in the green. Obviously, the outside of them with the quality of life mod goes that very metallic green. But it still looks fantastic. And hopefully, we shouldn't see too much of it. If I'm being honest, let's get it all bolted in and then work on the innards of this beautiful engine. So there we go. That's all of them in. And now we need to get cracking. Each head has got two camshafts in it. Then we've also got eight camshaft caps per head. So that's 16 in total. And then on the end of them, we've also got, that's the alternator, cam gear just on the end. Then a timing chain just separating them two. And then a secondary cam gear on the end as well. Along with 
four spark plugs on either side, so eight in total. I'll get the rest of that all finished, then we'll move on to the front of this beautiful engine. That's all the innards in, along with the cam gears on either end, ready to go. So let's get down the front and get started with these beautiful little timing chains. One on either side, and then a couple of, a pair, sorry, not a couple of pairs, a pair of lovely little shoes just to go on here to finish this Coyote front end. On we go, and then we get a lovely little timing cover to go on the front, which we've done in a pearl white. Looking pretty good on there. Looking fantastic. On you go. Then we've got the water pump. Just in a cheeky little green with everything else on here just in that black. You've got the power steering pump there. we got the alternator just over here. And then we've got that lovely crankshaft pulley in the middle. And a water pump pulley just on the front there. Can we do all the belts now? I believe we might be able to actually. So let's crack on. Last little idle roller just down here. I say last. There is one more. So we've got a belt on this side. Belt on this side. There we go. Then the last idle roller. In you go, and a belt tensioner just on this side, finishing that off, looking a pretty good on there. Then we've got the head covers A. Let's get them on, and we've just done them in a very black black on there, looking nice, bolted up. In you go. Lots of bolts on this one. I kind of forgot about that a little bit. Uh, then we've got four ignition coils. In you go, in you go, in you go, and on you go, with a secondary cover over the top of them, which we've done in that beautiful green. That looks fantastic on there. Incredibly pleased with that. Let's crack on and get the other side to the same spot. There we go. That's both sides done. Looking fantastic. I like this in the black, white, and green. I think it looks fantastic. Let's get the intake manifold in in that pearl white. Looking beautiful on there. Uh, then we've got a little green throttle just on top. In you go. And then two fuel rails. One either side. Both in that beautiful green. On you go and on you go. And then the last piece is this beautiful, not the last piece, we've still got the exhaust manifolds to go, but is that a manifold engine cover on the top there, which we've done in a black. I did try and do this in green, didn't work. And also I think in the car, the green might have been too much. So the black into the white in the manifold looks beautiful on there. Then we got the exhausts, in they go. They are in a beautiful looking black. And it is going to be black all the way out through to the back. We'll see how good that looks coming out the back of the car. A little bit later on let's get you on then we're going to grab some pictures of this beautiful coyote engine it really is a stunning engine and then we'll get it dropped into the beautiful mustang ready to get that one outside and in the sun time to get this beautiful engine dropped in then they're looking stunning i really am pleased with that engine i think it looks fantastic and let's get it dropped in the mustang though and see how good it looks inside that engine bay all colored and ready to go that looks absolutely fantastic. I am incredibly pleased with that engine. That looks beautiful. Loving that. The green caps powered by Ford. That, yeah, I am very, very pleased with that. But let's get underneath. We've got a few bits left to go. We've got the gearbox. we got some exhaust and um, a drive shaft. That was the other thing. I couldn't think of what I was trying to think of then. But let's get started in with the gearbox. We have just kept that one in a black matching in with the beautiful engine block on there. The starter, though is in a cheeky little green just to finish it all off. And then we've got all of the exhaust, which is all in black, all looking fantastic. We'll carry on with that in a second. And let's get the drive shaft in, which is also just in a cheeky little black there, but looks good going the other way into that white rear suspension setup. Then we've got the middle mufflers in the black, in the black, and then the rear mufflers just in there as well. Hopefully this is going to look pretty good. Just wheels, liquids, and the window tinting to go. Let's make our way out of here. And have a look how good that looks down the back. Very black on the exit there. So it's black on black. But it still looks absolutely fantastic. Especially with the black racing stripes just coming down. Finishing it all off. Very, very pleased with that. Looking fantastic. We're going to get the liquids topped up. We're going to get some beautiful wheels done. And then we'll get this Mustang outside in the sun. Well, here she is then. All finished. The beautiful looking 2017 Mustang GT, an absolute beautiful car with that engine looking absolutely fantastic in there. I am so pleased with that engine. You will not believe how happy I am how that turned out. It looks fantastic. Let's talk about these rims. In fact, quickly before we do that, let's go and have a look at the shop. There are two different rims for the modern Mustang. You've got the standard Mustang rim and then the Mustang GT rim, obviously the Mac one as well. But that's for a different car. We've gone for the Mustang GT rims today. Looking fantastic on there. Obviously putting a splash of that green on the dark, dark horse, on the prancing horse 
on the rim there looking absolutely fantastic the front rims are a 20 inch rim we got up a little bit with a 265 width i just thought it needed to bring it out a tiny little bit more and a 35 profile on there just to fit in quite nicely not too chunky looking a pretty good down at the back they're very similar still a 20 inch rim it's 275 width just to give it a little bit more grip on the drag strip hopefully along with her 35 profile on there as well looking absolutely fantastic so pleased with this mustang it is a beautiful and let's jump inside though obviously that beautiful interior as well i love this car and the stitching and the buttons on that steering wheel beautiful the rest of this interior is quite possibly the most beautiful interior in this game it is so good looking in here i love this car so much but let's get it started and see what that coyote engine sounds like nice evil grumble there let's give it some gas That sounds nasty, but nasty in such a good way. That is a beautiful sounding engine there. Let's get this beast onto the dyno, see what this horsepower is and what this one's drag rating will be. Here we are then on the dyno with the Ford Mustang and its V8 Coyote engine with 437 factory horsepower. How much have we added today with all the performance parts and what will this one's drag rating be? Let's take a look. A gain of 466 horsepower, a whole new Coyote engine on the top, plus a little bit extra, 107%, happy with that. Taking us up to 902 horsepower, a little shy of 1,000, but still pretty good. With a drag rating of A, so we're in the top class, but only 580, not quite the 999 we are very much used to on this channel. Should, be, should make for an exciting tournament. And uh, some interesting competition. Let's have a look at the gearbox tuning setup for today. There she is. I've gone for a 2.75 ratio. 90 kilometers an hour in first gear. Up to 395 in fifth gear. Definitely don't think we'll quite get up to there. But we should get some good runs down the drag strip nonetheless. ECU is fully tuned and ready to go. And obviously there are no carburetors in this one. So let's get onto the drag strip and see what we can do with this Mustang. We're back at the drag strip, this time with the 2017 Ford Mustang from the Ford Remastered DLC out on Friday. Keep your eyes peeled for that one. Let's get into it. King of the Sands, one mile, and we are in A-class, although we're quite low down. But we'll pay the 1,000 entry fee and see who we've got in here today. Anyone that we know, Payne is in a Dodge Charger, the Dom Toretto Stunt Car 1, looking pretty good there. Got my brother in the Monster Machine Chevrolet El Camino and Suzumis in the Lamborghini Murcielago Liberty Walk. Pretty good in there. Our first race is against the Hot Wheels Bone Shaker. That should be quite an interesting one. And then if we get through that, we'll be up against Ken Block's Fiesta or the Ford Mustang race car. So let's get in and see if we can win our first race. First race for our beautiful Mustang. We've got that wonderful looking Hot Wheels Bone Shaker. Absolute drag machine looking insane right there. In our green and black Mustang, though, it's going to be pretty challenging. Can we win? Let's find out. Let's get inside. Let's go. Off the line into second. All doing all right so far. I can't see the Bone Shaker pulling away from us into third. Where are you? Behind us by the looks of it. Definitely happy about that. Come on, little Mustang. Let's keep going into fourth gear. Are we going to need fifth gear? We seem to be coming quite close to the end. I don't think we're going to need our fifth gear. So let's just get across the finish line and see what times and speeds we get with the Mustang. There we go. Across the line. What have we got in our first race? 10.419. Must say I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping to be under 10 seconds. Doesn't look like we might not get there today. 25.642 to the one mile with a top speed of 330 kilometers an hour. And we did beat the Bone Shaker. Not very close to the quarter of a mile, but we did all right down to the one mile. Or second and a half beating it by. So let's get back to the garage. No, let's not get back to the garage. Let's get back and see who we got next in the drag tournament. Well, look at that. Everyone made it through. Suzumis is through. My brother is through. And Payne is also through. And we are obviously through. We're up against the Ford Fiesta Ken Block Edition next. Pretty good. Payne's got the Ford Fiesta GRC in there. And obviously, my brother and Suzumis are mashing off against each other in a Lamborghini and a Chevrolet El Camino. At the top here, we've got the Smith, Smith and Parker Arizona Kid Blaze Edition versus the Batmobile Pursuit Mode. Let's get in. See if we can beat Ken Block's Ford Fiesta. 
It's another Ford versus Ford on the starting lineup with the beautiful Ken Block Ford Fiesta looking amazing over there against our green and black Ford Mustang, which does look absolutely beautiful. I'm so pleased with that one today. Can we beat the Fiesta though? Let's get in. Let's go. Off the line into second quite comfortably. The Fiesta is pulling away early on into third. Oh, are we going to lose to the Fiesta in the Mustang? I certainly hope not. Let's hope we can pull away from that one. Into fourth gear. We know we don't need fifth. And now we're pulling in front. Definitely what we like to see. Very happy with that. Beautiful little Mustang. Let's get across the finish line and see how good this run was. There we go. Across the line. Is it better? 10.496. Sadly, not quite. A little bit slower to the quarter of a mile there. 25.716 to the one mile. Again, a little bit slower. But the tame, the tame, the same top speed of 330 kilometers an hour. Let's see who we've got next. Unfortunately, Suzumis knocked out my brother in the Munster machine, but it does mean pain faces off against the Lamborghini Murcielago driven by Suzumis. That should be quite interesting. We're up against the Batmobile Pursuit Mode. Going to be quite a challenging one, that one. Can we beat that and make it into the final to face off other against Payne or Suzumis? A billionaire playboy vigilante in a beautiful Batmobile up against a wannabe a pretend mechanic in a Ford Mustang. Let's see who's going to win this one. Let's go. Off the line into second. Oh, we looks like we got off the line. Very well against the Batmobile there. It's been to third gear already. And I can't see the Batmobile gaining, although it does feel like it. Let's get into fourth gear. We know we don't need fifth. Let's just keep the power on and see if we can beat the Batmobile on the drag strip and make it into the final. Let's face off against Payne or Suzumis. Let's get across the line. Will it be good? There we go. Across the line. What have we got? 10.558. This is just getting slower and slower. Disappointingly. Never mind, though. 25.777 to the one mile. Again, our slowest run so far. But the same top speed of 330 kilometers an hour. We've made it to the final. Who will we be up against? Let's go see. Well, we've made it to the final again. And Suzumis knocked out Payne, which is a bit of a shame. But it means our final race is against the Liberty Walk Lamborghini Murcielago in our beautiful 2017 Ford Mustang. Let's get into it and try and win this drag tournament. I love that Liberty Walk Lamborghini. It looks so beautiful there in its slightly wide body kit. We know that thing is insanely fast. Will we be able to beat it in the beautiful Ford Remastered DLC Ford Mustang? Let's get in. Let's go. Off the line for the last time today into second gear. And we are pulling away from the beautiful little Lamborghini into third. Come on, Mustang. We can win this tournament. We're going to win this tournament. This, this drag Mustang, not a drag Mustang, just a normal Mustang, is going to take all of the prize money, beating the wide body Liberty Walk Lamborghini Murcielago, driven by Suzumis in the final. Let's get across the line. Hopefully, this will be our best run. There we go. What have we got? 10.458. Close, but not quite. Our fastest run is a 10.419 which was our first run. 25.678 to the one mile, beaten by our first run with a 25.642 and a top speed of 330 kilometers an hour. We know that bit's changed, stayed the same throughout. Just my gear changes might have ruined it just a little bit. Let's get back to the garage. Let's get this one onto the speeder board, see where it lives and uh, see if we can sell this one on for a tasty little profit. There it is. Back to winning ways. Two in a row for us now. Both Fords so far have made it and won the tournament. This one a little bit higher payout of 11,250. Obviously take away our entry fee of 1,000. 10,250 profit before we even get back. And that negates all of the losses of 5,666 we had at the very beginning of the episode. So let's get back to the garage and try and make a profit from this beautiful Mustang. Well, there she is, all finished with the beautiful 2017 Ford Mustang from the Ford Remastered DLC out on Friday. Looking absolutely insane. Let's talk some times for this one. Well, he got the quarter mile in 10.419 seconds, one mile in 25.642 seconds with a top speed of 330 kilometers an hour, pinning it 47th on the speederboard out of 57 total cars on there. But this one 
is absolutely beautiful this is one of the best looking cars i think i have made on this channel to date i think it is absolutely beautiful let's talk some facts and figures about it i bought the car for fifty nine thousand five hundred and sixty six and could have sold it at a loss of five thousand six hundred and sixty six right at the very beginning we since spent another seventy six thousand eight hundred and twelve upgrading modifying tuning and painting this beautiful mustang to how you see it right now putting our total spend at one hundred and thirty six thousand 378 the real question is though can we make a profit from this one let's take a look all 100 percent finished absolutely stunning i really can't get over how much i love this car i think it looks absolutely beautiful that beautiful coyote engine revved up to 902 horsepower a gain of 107 percent but our total spend was 136,378 is there money to make there is, and quite a lot, with the 218,306 sale price, leaves us with a profit of 81,928. Plus our winnings from the drag strip of 10,250 leaves us with a total profit of 92,178 from this beautiful Mustang. I really do love this one. I think it looks fantastic in the green, or black and white. Beautiful color combination in there. And I really do love this interior and the full set of interior in there is absolutely beautiful. But it is time to say goodbye to the Mustang. Off you go. Tasty little profit for us. But what are we going to be working on next? I asked you guys to leave a comment what one you think we should do next. And nobody did. So I've just made my own decision and we have gone for the Ford Mustang. A Mac 1 on there looking absolutely beautiful. This is what we're going to be working on next. Also from the Ford Remastered DLC, which is out on Friday same time this video comes out so you'll be able to play at the same time as me let's have a quick look at this one it is obviously the ford mustang mac one from 1971 and we got it from the auction house the bad auction house and it is in pretty sorry for itself condition the engine in this one that's not the engine the engine in this one is the v8 ford cobra jet 429 but you can swap in another new engine to this one the small block 302 which we won't be doing we we'll definitely be keeping the Cobra Jet engine in this one with 370 factory horsepower. Now back to that screen. Did I get a good deal? I actually did. 22,742 is what I paid and I could sell it for 23,960 making 1,218 before we even begin. This is what we're going to be working on in the next episode on Friday. So make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned for that one. But that is it for today's video. I do hope you did enjoy it. If you did, definitely, definitely click that subscribe button. We are three away from a 1,000 subscribers. So if you can help me get that, I will be very, very grateful. Thank you so much. Don't forget to leave a comment. Leave a like. Let us know what you do think of today's builds. All the future builds coming up or any suggestions for cars that you want to see us do on this channel. As long as they're available on the workshop. I am not a modder. But thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day, whatever you're getting up to. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.